Most people are looking at how do I live my life in a way that serves not only myself, but the people that are in my life. Perhaps my local uh, employment agency, my local company, if you will, my own business, or my actual community, or any group that I'm participating in philanthropically. When I'm looking at how do I make a life worth living and a retirement worth having, we have to look at what we do in life to produce a better living. We have to look at how do we grow our business? How do we grow our career? How do we prosper and live long? Well, we do a lot of that by using technology. We also do a lot of that by using cellular health and nutrition that biohacks our body and tries to keep us healthy, wealthy, and wise, of course by continuing to utilize our mind, utilize our intellect, continue to read, continue to learn, be lifelong learners, and all the things that we tout in this land as important and that many people spew but they don't always do. The reality is that I'm not really a satirist and I'm sort of more like the Andy Rooney's of old who were journalists with a little bit of a dry humor, a little bit of a quick wit, and a little bit of a, hey, in your face, this is what life is really like. Get to it. Life can be short or long based on who we live with who we love with and frankly who we get the opportunity to invite into a marriage bed for the rest of our lives. If we pick poorly we end up in a difficult situation, we often end up in divorce, we end up in shock and surprise and dismay and our children then are left as latchkey or to be fending themselves against the other suitors that come after, not all of which are the right person for our lives. When I talk about suitors in my book Soul Keepers, I really encourage people to make loving conversation with the Lord. And what I mean by that is that they can give the Lord keywords, code words that say, if a person says the following things to me, or wears the following clothes, or does the following things, or presents the following way, then I literally will know that that person is the one that the Lord has chosen for my lifelong partnership. You see, I know something about that a little bit. I've literally, I believe, done just about everything that I've been suggested to do to prove my love to one girl. Yes, I had an old love of many, many years, and I thought we'd grow old together. But she wasn't really happy in this land, and a lot of it has to do with the way that Americans treated her, because she had an accent, but she was a brilliant mind. She literally went to college and high school at the same time. She literally then came here and went to two different colleges and universities, and I helped pay for all that and openly we put her through a lot of challenges when she got here but she rose to the occasion and I'm still very proud of my old love and her son who survived it all but they don't live here anymore and she's gone on to another relationship. It's amazing though in that time period when I was recognizing that things were not going as smoothly as I'd hoped after that many years together that I literally said a prayer that said Lord Please bring into my life the ones that will really matter going forward. And I won't give all the details of that prayer, but I promise you, the Lord answered that prayer that was on my knees. And every day since that time, I have literally felt that pull towards that individual. I literally get signs like you can't even possibly imagine off the charts of that individual's name, that individual's sign, that individual's everything on a daily basis. And it's literally been going on for mm, six, seven years. And sometimes, multiple times a day. And the angels around us have a good laugh over the whole thing. They're like, hey, wait for it. But I can tell some of those stories in my presentations of how much God knows about the world, how incredible the Lord is at knowing who fits to who, what fits in what, and where things are in every aspect of every area of your life and mine. The data that I've gathered from my own life is literally off charts. It's off rails. It's wild to recognize that God really knows every living person, every stitch of fabric, and literally his minions and dominion over that spirit realm knows where it all is. It's pretty incredible. Now, the flies are starting to buzz, and I did have a little bit of a problem today, so I'm sure they're going to love me. But in reality, what I'm really talking about is how do we love God, how do we do our work, and how do we find the right partner who's right for us? The only way to do that is to give God some ideas of what we're looking for, but also to give him a way to give us hints.